Hey, what's up guys? This is uh, Krishna here. Welcome to this exciting project walkthrough of Lightning. I created this project for Side Effects Mardini Challenge Day 17 called Lightning, where I used um, Labs node Lightning. So, okay, so let's uh, jump right into it. So this is the um, overview of the scene here. And I've got three containers, Lightning, Strings, and Instance. Okay, so everything really happens within this lightning geometry, okay? So if I just go through this, right? So I've got a point here added at exactly origin, which is zero. And then I'm replicating that point by 16 times. And the shape is circle and uniform scale of 0 0.5 with a little bit of noise. And I just copied the X to Y and Z alligator noise. No big deal here, okay? And then I'm creating an ID on this side here based on the point number. So you've got your ID here, okay? Maybe I should have chosen integer here, but never mind. And then um, I have a popnet, and inside it, I have the source to be all points because it has to be, otherwise it won't work because I'm only feeding in the points, and then birth is only at frame number two. The life expectancy is 100, and I've got a a little bit of uh, wind, um, air resistance of 10, which is quite high, and then amplitude of 2. Okay, the um, rest of them are default. <clears throat> so if I run that now, see, it kind of does that. That's basically it. I just wanted that. All right. So what am I doing with that? I've got a sphere. Let me go into wireframe mode, and I'm raying. Well, basically, I'm using a ray to attach those points that comes out of the pop net onto the sphere. So you get this sort of an effect. You can, I hope you can see it. So let me. So it kind of these slide on the surface of the sphere. Okay, that's the whole idea behind it. Okay. Um, and then I'm merging these two. Okay. So this will become its their corresponding origin point. And this will become their end point, okay? So there, sort of like that, okay? So why am I doing that? That's because if I add lines using ID attribute, which I created here, then you got a bunch of loins, loins, I'm sorry, <laughs> a bunch of lines uh, from the uh, origin to the end, okay? So it kind of does that jazz, whatever. Okay, and then I'm feeding them uh, into a for each loop, which is actually based on point. Okay. Ah, what's happening? Okay. Sorry. Give me a second. Let me just reset this back. And in add, I've also, ah, yeah, delete geometry, but keep points. I forgot to mention that. Okay. So, uh, if I, I'm feeding them each point into, um, for each loop, iteration method is by pieces or points. Okay. So there are 16 of them in total. So what am I doing with that? So I'm deleting the geometry, but keeping the points because I created lines here, remember? Okay, so because, ah, come on, there, okay. So I created lines, so inside of it, I'm deleting the line, I'm just keeping the point. Okay, so if I were to just select a single piece, okay, so just that piece, all right. So, so there is that line it's supposed to be, and I'm deleting the geometry, okay. And then I'm sorting out by reverse, and I'll tell you why that is shortly. But <clears throat> I'm bringing in a sphere, and I'm grouping it, saying it's called ball group, and I'm copying that to the points. Okay. So, um, so you got one from the, in the origin and one at the end. Okay. And then by sorting it, um, you need the reverse. It, it basically, I reverse the um, side. Okay. You can you're unable to see it. Like, so it's zero here, one there. If I do that, it's zero there and one here, okay? So, okay. And I don't remember why I'm doing that <laughs> or why I did that, but uh, we'll come to that. So, and then I, after the first input, I'm switching, uh, sorry, after the first frame, I'm switching the input because in the first frame, it not really happens, okay? So, because PopNet is um, not started yet. I mean, I could have, given this a start frame of negative five or whatever, but I didn't do that. Anyway, and then um, we have our beautiful 
lightning node which is the labs node so if I go to number three there you go so I created this lightning kind of effect okay um, this is the labs node this you know everything is inbuilt so you just need to play with this and currently I have uh, these settings here okay so lightning arcs you know if you change it to one two three etc etc okay and then the noise no noise add noise over here and here you'll see that noise and those are the settings there and add jitter no jitter or okay previews um, so this show input it just means that those spheres will disappear but I have enable show input for a reason okay so at the end of this what will happen is that you'll get everything including the lightning and the inputs themselves okay so it's all in one place all right and um, some of the other if you watch any of my other project walkthroughs usually what I do is I create for each loop for a single frame and then I will <coughs> animate the positions afterwards to save time but in this one I'm not doing that I'm actually feeding in the pop net animation directly and the for each needs to go through every single one of them okay um, you can try it the other way uh, what I mean by that is by putting in a time shift here for an example and just just bringing in one um, frame and then you know you just need to cook it once and once it's cooked you know everything else just stays the same basically ah don't do that it's supposed to only cook once and the reason why it's not doing that is because of this lightning okay so if I remove that you'll see it's going so fast all right and um, if I remove the time shift it'll continue to do really fast and this is the reason why I fed the um, animation directly okay but bottom line is I'll put a time shift in here first and then I'll put in a point wrangle okay usually that's how I do it so and then I'll say right um, uh, I've created a yeah position transfer so I created a little template here okay so uh, what will happen now is that all of this will move after our for each okay uh, because without it it'll just stay this way your for each only needs to calculate once okay but I'm not doing it for this one because of this lightning okay the lightning has to go through every single frame all right so that's that out of the way so now <clears throat> I'm gonna enable uh, actually let me just go through yeah everything is I, I talked about everything here so I'm just gonna enable that okay we'll leave it at 26 I'm just gonna set this back to camera okay so after that uh, also you can see you've got file cache um, lighting file cache lightning file cache so I really cached the whole thing um, although I've said unchecked simulation here and you got to be careful with that because you need to make sure that this is fully cached before you can say uncheck simulation here okay so this has got to be fully cached all right and I'm unpacking it so I've got 13,000 and 12,000 points uh, without it I only have that much okay because I want to split the group ball and lightning okay and I've got the actual sphere here okay so and then I've got all of them together now okay so that's basically what's happening here all right so next is I'm creating a bunch of strings where um, these spheres hang from okay so I'm creating a line ah, where is it there so line in the negative z direction I think uh, yeah it's in the negative z direction and resampling it creating curve view attribute and I'm um, creating pin points which is at the bottom and then I'm saying if curve view is one then you'll be part of a um, group called balls now if you don't have curve view you can't do that and the problem is you won't know what the point number is at the end so curve view is really good uh, attribute to create <clears throat> on the right hand side here I have a grid um, I don't know why it all looks like that but anyway just a regular grid I've 
push the center up a little bit. I remeshed it. Ah, that's because of this. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, there you go. And then I transformed it like that. So it kind of hangs, I think, from there. Uh, these things, uh, these strings will be hanging from that grid. Okay, so that's the P scale. And there you go. Yeah, it is. That's what it's doing. There you go. It's hanging off of there with different P scales. As you can see, the length of these wires or, or strings are different. And then I'm saying, okay, you'll be while well, I'm here. And pin pointed, uh, pinned to the pins group. Okay. And these are all, I think, standard. Uh, stiffness might have been changed, the bend stiffness, and damping ratio was increased. Okay. And Vellum Solver, just standard. I think I didn't even change the sub steps here. As a matter of fact, everything is just literally default. So um, that means that I'll just run and that's what it does. Okay. So it just hangs. And inside of it, I bet I create a pop wind. Yeah, that's right. Because otherwise, you won't get that kind of, you know, this kind of movement. So pop wind. Uh, a resistance 1 and amplitude 0.5 and no wind velocity everything is taken care of by the amplitude okay so that's that <clears throat> so and then I'm bringing that out creating poly wire with the wire radius of 0 0.01 and I'm creating um, random attribute um, per primitive okay I don't know why I did that but anyway so and then I'm deleting the I'm deleting uh, everything but the balls group okay because this is where the spheres are going to be attached and then I'm creating a point wrangle because this is where I'm going to be instancing all right the spheres and lightning okay so what am I saying here so p scale will be 0 0.1 s at instance is equal to this is imperative for redshift node to understand that there is instance going on here and the instance will be object lightning which is this this one thing here okay and then I am creating separate different orientation random orientation okay side sphere and remember uh, or please note that dimensions got to be four for orient okay and then I'm creating random p scale um, I'm saying you'll be this but I'm multiplying it please note because I've already set the p scale up here okay because if you leave the operation here to set value then this wouldn't matter okay so that's why I set it to multiply all right okay so I called it out points and this one is out strings okay <clears throat> and uh, just gotta select this again I think yeah for rendering and the instance all I'm doing is this yeah, so all I'm doing here is bringing strings out points into this object. And that's about it, really. Okay, so when you render, then it'll just instance it. on uh, Instance um, the lightning spheres onto these points here. Okay, <clears throat> that's, that's the idea behind it. All right. So when you look at it from here, there's nothing happening. But when you render it, um, it'll show up with the all with all of the um, um, spheres with the lightning. Okay, and uh, with the camera, camera is just standard camera. This is where it is set. It's just you know on the Z28, uh, 1080p focal length of 85 because I wanted uh, depth of field. Um, so sampling depth of field uh, 0 0.4 f-stop and DOF enabled, as I said. But I have uh, made some changes to the post effects, okay? And I've enabled bloom and kind of color controls and whatnot. <coughs> by the way, this project is available on gumroad.com. Please uh, support me by purchasing it. I really appreciate it. So uh, let's move on, okay? So, and then uh, the light dome is um, uh, sky is on fire HDR, which is available for free from polyhaven.com, okay? I'll leave a link in the description, check it out. So, material. It's just lightning material, okay, which is basically, um, these are all standard, except for the overall, I've given it an emission of 40 with slightly bluish color.
color, okay? Like that color. That's that. And then the collider, which is the uh, sphere, it's glass. Basically nothing else, nothing else, okay? And then the balls. Balls. Uh, I thought that'll be the collider. Okay, never mind. Balls uh, is gold. Wait, oh, these are the balls that are inside the sphere. Okay, yeah. Um, that's gold. Okay. So, <clears throat> that's that. And so, what have I got here? So, strings doesn't seem to have a material. Um, yeah, it doesn't seem to have a material, which is... Yeah. Okay. That's fair enough. Well, it's not fair enough because um, it's wrong. I should have created a material for it, but I didn't. So, it doesn't matter. It works either way, you know. So, I'm just going to click a render here and I'll come back. Okay, the rendering is done now. As you can see, it looks uh, very nice. And these um, orientation, uh, randomizing the orientation um, changed how each of these lightnings are, are set up. You see, like here, these are here. These, these spheres are here and over here and it's like that so it's randomized across and um, it looks pretty pretty sweet I think and now I just realized that these strings definitely do not have a material but hey doesn't matter um, I do want to I forgot to mention something um, over here if I copy the texture and paste relative references here you'll get this sort of the sort of background okay because <clears throat> that what it does is it basically brings the puts the entire HDR picture on on your render okay so that's that all right and I'm just gonna get rid of that for the moment over here I've um, enabled LUT as you can see that's the difference so it's uh, Advantix 100 and it's default LUTs from Redshift okay color control so I adjusted the color a little bit okay um, so that's your RGB, red, no adjustment, green, no adjustment. So I contra I, I give it a little bit of contrast. That's all it is. Uh, so if I, yeah, you see. Okay, and then I created, uh, I uh, enabled bloom. Uh, you, if you watch here, maybe. Oh, well, everywhere. You can, you can tell now the difference. And then the bouquet, which is basically the depth of field. All right. So, if you want to know the curves data, which is the uh, <coughs> curves, um, you know, setup, these are the values if you want. Okay. So, uh, hopefully that helped you um, and you liked it and you learned something from it. If you did, give me a like, share, comment, subscribe. I really appreciate it. Until next time, have a great day. See you. Bye.